Hi, I'm Susan Solovic, the small business expert. And did you know today is National Dog Day? Well, you might be wondering why me, the small business expert, is talking about dogs and small business. Well, quite honestly, if you really want to ramp up your revenues, you might just want to think about taking your business to the dogs. That's right. If you want to be one of those wildly successful members of the 1% Club, then allowing your furry friends to come to work with you might just be a good answer for you. You know, there's actually research that shows that having dogs in the workplace increases productivity, it reduces stress, and it also enhances employee morale. So it could be a real increase and boost in your small business. But here are a couple of things that you need to think about. First of all, you want to make sure everybody is on board with the idea. You might have some people who work on your team who are afraid of dogs or maybe they're allergic. So, of course, that's not going to work out for you. The second thing is you want to make sure that the dogs are well trained if they're coming into your workspace. So you don't want yappy dogs barking all the time or dogs that are skittish or maybe growl at people. You want well trained, socialized dogs. And speaking of that, if your workplace has a lot of customer and client traffic, probably not a good idea to have the dogs around because once again you don't know who's afraid or who might be allergic. Um, the alternative to that is if you have a certain area in your workplace that you can sort of block off and that's just the appropriate place for the dogs, that could work as well. Then you want to make sure that everybody knows that you know dogs will be dogs and sometimes accidents happen. But if it does, you want to have on hand the right cleaning supplies and make sure the offending dog's owner is the one who's cleaning it up. In lots of times, it's a good idea to have a team of sort of policemen and have a rule that maybe three times, three strikes, you're out. Dog doesn't come back. You also want to check with your insurance company. You want to make sure that if something would happen, like a dog would bite someone or get out of control, that you're covered. And then finally, you want to make sure that your employees understand that, you know, this is a really great perk and not to abuse the policy. So you don't want to have dogs, you know, in the conference room when you're in a meeting that people are being distracted by. That sort of defeats the purpose, right? So there you have it. If you want to ramp up your employment brand, if you want to give your employees a real cool perk, and you want to increase your productivity, which of course increases your profitability, then you may want to just let your business go to the dogs. Well, that's your tip today for National Dog Day. Once again, I'm Susan Solovic, the small business expert. Follow me on Twitter, Susan Solovic, or join me on Facebook at Susan Solovic, facebook.com Susan Solovic. I've also got a fun group there called Outrageous Success. Join us because we're all about helping you succeed. We'll see you next time.